talk to you about MCORD, uh, which stands for Mobile Central Office Rearchitected as Data Center. I'm Sandhya Narayan from Verizon. Uh, MCORD is about trying to bring 5G on the CORD platform. And 5G means ubiquitous network access, high capacities, new business models, new network services, and ability to use heterogeneous uh, cellular networks. So uh, we try to, in MCOD project, we are focusing on three fundamentals of the of 5G. Uh, start, to start with, we are enhancing hardware, software, and resource utilization in terms of spectrum resource utilization. Then we are also trying to do multi-radio access uh, network uh, control using SDN and NFB technologies. Then we are focused on new customer, customized services for the customer. Com service composition, differentiated quality of experience, and uh, since we are close to the edge, we can uh, address new use cases in IoT, education, healthcare, and um, industrial M2M applications. Of course, with the CART platform, we bring in agility of the cloud and uh, also ec uh, the data center economies, and that brings that is, uh, helps us to do on-demand deployment of uh, services, new virtualized uh, disaggregated RAN and EPC services, and doing it all on commodity hardware and uh, open source software. So this is a pictorial view of what I actually said just now. On the left side you have the new areas, the new services that we are talking about, and on the right you have the card platform. So we are talking in mobile card, we are talking about disaggregating the radio access network and virtualizing them. So you have BBUs and RRUs that are programmable, BBUs that are virtualized. You have the EPC, Evolve Packet Core, uh, that has been virtualized and disaggregated. Uh, so you have the MME, SGW, and PGW, the, all of them in a virtualized form. And finally, we, we can uh, have new edge services in the, in the mobile edge. So if, for example, you'll see a demo of uh, the video content delivery, caching of that, and uh, also our portals to do uh, set up services. On the platform itself, all these run on commodity servers and uh, switches, use, uh, which are controlled by SDN control plane uh, that is ONOS and XOS, which is our orchestration layer. So on the left side here, you see the traditional mobile architecture, which is run with proprietary boxes and solutions, which are of course limited in the sense of they have limited scalability, limited control, and suboptimal spectrum usage. On the right, you see the proposed target architecture for MCARD, which we are working on, that provides high flexibility because of the disaggregated and virtualized RAM better spectrum utilization because you now have central coordinate, centralized coordination and you can the, uh, because you have different players that can come in you hope, hopefully this will reduce cost and bring new innovation on the epc side too you have similar advantages because of the disaggregated and virtualized epc uh, you have in ability to scale independently because uh, now you have SGW, the data plane and control plane are disaggregated, so you can scale them separately. You have centralized control again, and also now a choice of solutions, so you can match the solution to your needs. And finally, again, with disaggregation, you bring in new innovations and reduce cost. Now here is uh, what we sh are showing today. This is the proof of concept implementation, and uh, we showing you how commodity servers and storage and network is being used here. So you have all these components as the baseband unit, the MME, the STW, PGW, all in virtualized form running on these servers that you see in the rack that is there. You have also caching service, a monitoring service, and the SON service all running on this same, in the same pod that you can see. And we have two user uh, equipment here showing you the video for the video caching demo that I'll go over later and we'll also show you the how the service provider portal works and how the customer enterprise customer portal works that will be in a demo in the next station
So for the demo, we have, we're going to show you the infrastructure in the pod there. Then we're going to show you um, an application, a mobile edge caching application, and show you the benefits of uh, the quality of experience to the user because we are located at the edge, the pod is located at the edge. And also, this also has the benefit of reducing bandwidth in the core. The third part will be to show you the customer uh, and the enterprise views of the portal. And finally, we'll end up with a SON monitoring demo and also bring up an on-demand service. At this time, we can move on to the pod and uh, show you the infrastructure setup. Hi, I'm Kim Kim and I'm from OLM. Today, I will introduce our mobile pod. So you can say there is no more SDTV and the PGTV big box right now. Instead, we only have the community servers here and uh, one test equipment from Copenhagen. So you can see the our partner KVM. They provided the CPU and uh, Redis provided the two PIC gateway, the global PIC gateway and the uh, local PIC gateway. And uh, our Onus and uh, XOS is provided by online. The Onus XOS and uh, also together OpenStack, we are working as a platform to support all the services for the mobility. Uh, so here is the cache and uh, the AC NetCracker provide us the MME and the SKDW. And uh, here is another BBU from KVM and uh, AirHub provides the ESOL for monitor the drying resources. So you can see all the functions right now we disaggregated and virtualized and running as a service in those community servers in a cloud style. Yeah, so this is all about the uh, M code. Oh, one more thing about this box. This box can emulate 3,000 UEs, give a good performance testing for the M code. Okay, this is all for the right. I'm going to show the videos, the mobile edge service over there, and the portals in that big monitor. Here is the demo two, and I want to introduce the mobile edge service, the cache service. Here you can see the two video. These two video will go to the two RU I just introduced in the rack there. They will go to inter, uh, enter the RU and go to the EPC and watch the video. So here you can imagine this is use the M card infrastructure. This is emulate the Lexi uh, video, not M card uh, infrastructure. So you can imagine this user is from uh, at and or Verizon or SK Telecom. This is just a normal user go to the internet to watch a video. Uh, this video needed to cross the entire internet and uh, enter the bank hall and the call EPC. But uh, this one is served directly at the mobile edge. You can imagine in the Santa Clara, uh, there's a central office. So this is uh, served directly at the central office in Santa Clara. So it doesn't need to go to the internet and uh, to visit a visit a uh, video. Uh, so the result is here, uh, the M card user can enjoy a very smooth video, but uh, the normal user, the video on the phone is sometimes choppy. Look, right now it's choppy now. So this is the difference of M card user and the normal user. Okay, this is the part two. I'm going to introduce the portals and the uh, part three and the part four. Here is the demo part three and part four. I will introduce the portals of the service provider and the enterprise and the ESA and the uh, equip testing equipment all around here. So you can see here the topology, here the service provider portal and uh, this topology is discovered by Onos. Uh, the PBU, MME, FDV and the P gateway are all service running in the VM inside OpenStack Compute Node. So in the service provider platform, I can easily bring up a new BBU service. Here we have three categories of service. The run service, we have some RU and BBU. For the EPC, 
we have MME executive and peak TV service. And uh, we also can have the mobile edge value added service for the service provider, like the cache, firewall, and the video optimization. You can have a lot here. Let's take the VBPU for example. I will, I can show you how easy I can bring up a new BBU. I click the BBU here, then I come to the config page. So let me config a little bit the slice. I use the BBU slice and my deployment. I use a virtual machine and uh, let's choose the size, medium, and the image. Here, I want to deploy in the compute BBU2, this machine. I can choose this one, then I save. You can see a new VM is coming up. So when I click the home again, I can see a new group of BBU come here. This is a whole, very easy to bring up a virtual BBU service. In your world, I don't need to manually do this because the sound will monitor the results and uh, when it say, oh, the results, the usage is very high, it can dynamically trigger off the action to end a new virtual BBU service. It's very easy. So this, then the last page of the service provider portal, you can see the users. This is the enterprise users. Look, this is Stanford Living Stadium and Convention Center. So let's take the Stanford, for example. Uh, in this model, uh, in the MCOD model, we can give the enterprise some control for their networks and monitor their networks. So let's log in the Stanford portal. Assume I, the administrator of the Stanford network. So when I log in my portal, I can see all my students' information here. Click the service here. I already bought two type of service, the cache service and the firewall service. Right now I can easily to purchase another service. Let's see what are other available bundles here. Oh, there's the education bundle here for video optimization. So I can just very easily click and bought this service. This is so easy. Let me go to the user list. If this user paid for his service, or I can enable it. If this user doesn't need some video optimization, I can just disable it. It uh, can give you a fine growing control for each user. Yeah, this is the uh, uh, enterprise portal. This is the second part. Then I'm going to move to the e sound to the sound part. When I click home, you can see, here is the list of the RUs, the sound is monitoring. So this two is from the KVM, I just show you over there in our rank. So let me click just one of them. You can see all the details are monitored by the sound, such as the sector, the number of sectors, the number of subbands, and the location, the PCN number, all the details are monitored by the sound. Here is the geography UI for the user. That here, you can see this red post are the RUs. So when I click one of the RU here, you can show some detailed configurations. Click this one, this is, oh, this RU have four neighbors, right? And uh, let's click this button, then you can see all the details. Like this one, the MCMC is enabled. This feature is enabled. And also, the enhanced SSC is also enabled. You can see, uh, this is very obvious to monitor the run resource. This is the sound. The last part, I want to introduce you the Copham testing equipment to give the performance testing for our M card. This is a TM500. Look, it can emulate all the real scenarios in the real world. For example, I'm a mobile user. I take the Caltrain from here to here. I will pass by two in the B. When I pass by this area, there will be a handover, right? If I'm driving on the highway from this point to this point, I will pass by 
two sectors, sector five and sector six, sector four. They also uh, will have a handover between these sectors. If I'm working in my office in the city, I don't move anywhere. Then there are no handovers. If I work on the street, I also pass by the sector one and the inter sector two. There are also another handover. So this equipment can emulate all the real scenarios in the real world. Uh, this part we still in progress. We haven't finished yet. Maybe next time you visit our booth, I can show the real demo for this part. Okay, thank you.